Hello, my name is Jared Wheeler. I'm an applications engineer with 4D Technology. Um, I'm here today to show you how to use reference masking and also why to use it. Um, so right now I have an example. Um, it's a replicast uh, with a kind of a large replica of a pit. Um, it's a good example just showing a kind of significant use. So I can take a measurement really easily here. And, uh, so we have, uh, you can also see the 3D, right? So we can see a large, it's a bump in this case, but this is a replica of a pit. Um, so we can look at, we have a 3D data here. Now, you might ask, why can we not use conventional methods and do, like I say, a trace across to measure like that? And why do you want to use a 3D analysis? So that's the main question I want to ask, answer for you today is, uh, because with a because the 3D analysis is just more accurate and repeatable. That's just simple as that. So we, if you do a 2D analysis, depending on how you draw this trace, the result is going to be slightly different, um, which is a big negative, right? Um, you want this, uh, your results to be repeatable between operators and repeatable and the most accurate as possible because you're making um, big judgment calls based off this data. Um, so what we can do is actually use the whole data set and um, do a 3D analysis where it automatically finds the deepest point uh, based off the user set nominal surface. Now that's this button here called feature analysis. Now there's one main caveat to using this is that you have to set the nominal surface. Um, the software by default uses a um, average of the whole um, data set to set the zero plane or what it to see is the nominal surface. So what you have to do is tell the software um, where zero is or where your nominal surface actually is. So you can see here, uh, but go back to 3D, you can look in the Y axis and you can see that uh, the nominal surface, which is the flat area outside the bump, is actually um, around a thou and a half deep, deeper than where zero is. So what the software sees is nominal is a thou and a half off of what you want it to be. So what I'm going to do now is uh, go to reference mask, and I'm going to draw a mask here. So I'm going to select a mask inside. So this whole area inside is not being used, and I'm only using the area outside this, the bright area outside the mask, to set the zero level and zero tilt. Um, so it's doing a two-part. Um, do there, and then I recalculate. And you can see now that zero is correct. So it's set at the nominal surface as you want it to be. So now I can go to feature analysis and the height is 10 thou. Where if I didn't use the reference masking, the height would have been 8.6 thou, which is incorrect, right? So the main point of this whole video is that uh, 3D analysis is a super powerful tool, but there is one main caveat in that you do need to set the nominal level. That is the one thing you have to do to use it. Um, which is pretty straightforward and easy to do, like it took me a few seconds. Um, but yeah, thank you very much.